everyone, Miss Carrie here from the Fairview Boys and Girls Club, and today I've got an easy drawing project for us to do together. So let's get started. So today we're going to be doing echo art, and you'll see what that means when we go along. So for this drawing project, you're going to need some paper or a note card, a pencil, a pen or a marker to do the tracing, some and some colored pencils, crayons, or markers to do the coloring. Let's begin. So to start, we're going to put our paper or our note card in portrait form, meaning it's just gonna be straight up and down. The longer sides will be on the sides and the shorter sides will be at the top and the bottom. For this, we are going to do, since it's still spring, everything is beautiful outside, we are going to do a basic flower. So just follow along with me and make it your own as we go. So we're just going to go right kind of kind of in the middle and we're going to draw the center of the flower just a nice circle and then from here we're going to put in petals it doesn't matter how many you do just whatever you're feeling just put in whatever you think you need they, they don't all have to be the same size. You can make different sizes. See how I've got some smaller ones here. You can do different flowers or different shapes. And I'm just going to fix that little guy right there. Turn him a little. Add one more little skinny one in there. And then to this, we're gonna add a stem. We're just gonna have it come down, have a nice thick stem, just so you've got something to work with. And of course, every flower needs leaves. So once you have done this part, this is the fun part. To make the echo art, we're gonna actually trace, kind of trace around what we've drawn. So what I mean is, you're going to make several lines that mimic what you've already drawn. So just to show you, I'm gonna go very lightly in. And see how I'm making these extra lines kind of follow the curves that I've already done. And I'm just going to show you on this one side to start. So then we're just going to do that again. Repeat that process. And again, just follow. If you run out of the room, that's okay. Just put the lines wherever you think they need to go. And we're just gonna keep going. I'm going to finish this up and then meet you back here for the next part. Okay, so we finished this up. What you're gonna do next is with your pen or your dark marker, I'm just gonna use this Sharpie pen I had laying around. You're gonna trace over all of your lines. So we're just gonna start, doesn't matter where you start. You're just gonna trace over all the lines you drew and that way your picture will really pop when you're done. Again, I'm just gonna show you with this one side. Now let's go ahead and trace the flower part. So all you're doing is just giving definition to your lines. It's really going to stand out when it's done. So I want you to get all of your lines traced and then meet me back here for the next part.
So now that all of our lines are traced, I'm going to show you just on this one that I've already done. You can see every line a little bit better, and you can definitely see where your flower is in the middle. So our final part to this is to add our color. A good thing to remember is that when you're working with colors, your warm colors like your reds and your oranges are really going to pop. So they're really good to use for what you want to stand out in your pictures. And your cool colors like blues and purples and greens sometimes is good to put as your background. So you can do it any way you want. But for this one, we are going to have the flower part be our warm colors and our background be our cool colors. So I'm just going to take this, cut some red, some orange, and some yellow. And that's the warm colors I'm going to use here. And then the cool colors I'm going to use are green, and this is a lighter green, but you can use any shade you want, blue, and purple. You, again, you don't have to use these colors. That's just what I'm choosing to do. So we're just I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to put some color in my flower. Again, you can do this any way you want. I've seen it where the cool colors are in the front on the flower. And the warm colors are in the background. That looks wonderful. Do whatever you're feeling. I'm going to put some red here. And then for the center, I'm going to put a little yellow. And then for my background, I'm going to use my cool colors. Now, I've already done some of this, just so you could see it. So I'm going to pull this aside. And if you look, you can see how much the flower stands out. And I'll even cover this side back up, just so you can see where we are. So the warm colors that I've chosen just kind of showed you, hey, there's a flower. But also, you've got the waves of lines echoing off of your flower. That's why it's echo art. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know what you did, how you did it. Share with your friends. I hope everyone enjoyed today's drawing. If you try it, let us know. And I want to say hi to all of my Fairy Boys and Girls Club members. I miss you lots and lots, and I can't wait until we can be together again. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye.